हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू की साइबर फॉर मोर अपडेट्स रिलेटेड टू साइबर सिक्योरिटी स्टे ट्यून विद अवर सोशल मीडिया हैंडल एज वेल एज सब्सक्राइब अवर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन फॉर न्यू अपडेट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कंप्यूटर फॉरेंसिक्स इन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो लेट गेट स्टार्टेड कंप्यूटर फॉरेंसिक इन्वेस्टिगेटर्स आर इन हाई डिमांड ऑफन रेफर टू एज अ डिजिटल फॉरेंसिक इंजीनियर्स कंप्यूटर फॉरेंसिक इन्वेस्टिगेटर्स आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू नो बेसिक आई टी स्किल्स understand computer architecture and networking have the ability to collaborate with various teams and write detailed reports a digital forensic professional must have an analytical and investigative skill as well as a strong attention to detail so let's get started today we are going to discuss about 25 interview questions to help you prepare for your next computer forensic interview so let's get started So our first question is, what is MD5 checksum? The answer is, MD5 checksum is a 128 bit value that helps identify the uniqueness of a file. You can have two file names, but each will have a different checksum. You use this checksum to compare two different files to identify if they are the same. So our next question is, name some common encryption algorithms that are used to encrypt data. The answer. Some common ones include triple DES, RSA, Blowfish, Wofish, and AES. The third question is, what is an dot ISO file? The answer. An ISO file contains an application or CD image of a several files. An executable most app software can be made into an ISO that you then mount as a virtual drive. and can browse files within the iso new windows versions come with the internal iso mounting capabilities so our fourth question is what is a sam file a sam or a security accounts manager file is a file specifically used in a windows computer to store user password it's used to authenticate both remote and local windows users and can be used to gain access to users computer The next question is what is data mining? Data mining is the process of recording as much data as possible to create reports and analysis on the user input. For instance, you can mine data from various websites and then log user interaction with this data to evaluate which areas of a website are accessed by users when they are logged in. The next question is what is data carving? Data carving is different than data mining. Is that data carving searches through raw data on a hard drive without using a file system? Data carving is essential for computer forensic investigator to find data when a hard drive's data is corrupted. The next question is, what operating system do you use? Most computer forensic experts know at least one operating system well. Be honest with this question, but you should know. either windows linux or mac operating systems well your interviewer will probably go into more detailed questions based on your answers so our next question is what email analysis experience do you have computer forensics rely on email analysis you should be experienced with the email servers such as ms exchange and free web based platforms such as gmail and yahoo the next question is what is steganography Steganography conceals some message within a message. In other words, someone can send an email message with content that says one thing, but every third word comprises a second message that makes sense to a recipient. The next question is: What are some common port numbers? TCP. The answer: TCP port number are the virtual connection created by computers and applications. Common port numbers are twenty-one for FTP. 80 for web services 25 for smtp and 53 for dns the next question is describe the sha1 hash the secure hash algorithm one is a hash algorithm that creates a 160 bit or 20 byte message digest the next question is describe your own experience with virtualization the answer is do not lie here be honest about your experience with virtualizations but be sure to describe the virtual in infrastructures you are familiar with that is virtual box vmware etc make sure you identify the types of operating system you have dealt with 
you do not have to prove you were a system administrator but you need to at least understand virtual storage partitioning how to log into a virtual box the benefits as well as the security issues with the virtualization it can save a company money by combining the use of resources and minimizing the amount of hardware a company has to purchase but if there are issues with the vm sprawl which is when an admin duplicates a machine and forget about it it creates a vulnerability because those machines are not patch or hardened this is a prevalent issue the next question is how would you handle retrieving data from an encrypted device first determine the encryption method used for a simple encryption types try finding the configuration file use tools such as the us data recovery advanced efs data recovery or elcom soft forensic disk decryptor you can also use brute force methods the next question is what port does dns run over the port number 53 is the answer the next question is what are some security issues related to the cloud the biggest issue in the increased potential for data breaches or exfiltration as well as the potential for account hijacking the man in the cloud attack is a new threat specific to cloud usage it is similar to the mitm attack where an attacker steals the user token which is used to verify devices without requiring additional logins cloud computing introduces insecure api usage which is discussed on the web's top 10 vulnerabilities list the next question is describe some of the vulnerabilities listed on the web's top 10 vulnerabilities list this list is updated yearly with the current top 10 application security risk cross site scripting is one of one item that has been of the least year after year but others on the most current list include injections such as sql os and ldap security misconfiguration sensitive data exposure and under protected apis the next question is what is an acl an access control list it is a list used to grant user and process access to system resources The next question how would you be able to tell at the hex level that a file has been deleted in pat 12 the answer is run fs stat against the fat partition to gather details run fls to get information about the image files this will return information about deleted files and the metadata information the next question is what are some tools used to recover deleted files requa pandora recovery adrc data recovery free and delete file recovery and more the next question is what is the form of a simple encryption often used by an intruder or criminal that is xor that is exclusive or the next question how do you stay up to date on a current cyber security trends the answer is this is a personal question make sure you can share newsletters and website you visit often this could include infosec institute cyberwire it white papers and podcast or webinars given by companies like nessus metasploit and sans the next question is how do you handle conflicting direction from different stakeholders the answer is this question is to see how you handle conflict the best way to answer is you would first consult your direct supervisor explain the conflict and ask for guidance on how to proceed The next question is if you needed to encrypt and compress data for transmission which would you do first and why The answer compress then encrypt because encryption takes up resources and can be cumbersome to perform it makes sense to compress the data first The next question is what is the difference between threat vulnerability and risk A threat is what a potential attacker poses by potentially using a system vulnerability that was never identified as a risk using this answer provides context for the three terms together but you can define them separately a threat is a possibility of an attack a vulnerability is a weakness in the system risk are items that may cause harm to the system or organization the next question is describe your home network it is the most important and essential question that interviewer may be ask you 
in cyber security related position interviewers often want to know your interest in security spills over into your personal life as well make sure you know the security features of your router or your specific isp be sure to mention any additional security measures you have added to your home network so thank you for listening so basically during the interview process you may also be asked to describe your familiarity with various operating system your experience with nks and or ftk about other tools computer forensics is still a growing field many applicants have educational experience but no real world experience if you lack real world experience you can still discuss things to do you in your spare time to stay up to date with the current trends and what separates you from the other candidates this is an in demand field with ample opportunity good luck thank you for listening tab tak be aware be secure because cyber crime never fails thank you